April is the cruelest month. Breathing lilacs out of the dead land. Mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. Winter kept us warm, covering earth in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with dried tubers. Summer surprised us, coming over the Stamburgese with a shower of rain. We stopped in the colonnade and went on in sunlight into the Hofgarten and drank coffee and talked for an hour. Bin gar keine Rasche, stammen aus Litauen, er Deutsch. And when we were children, staying at the Archduke's, my cousins, he took me out on a sled and I was frightened. He said, Mary, Mary, hold on tight. And down we went. In the mountains, there you feel free. I read much of the night and go south. What are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of the stony rubbish? Son of man, you cannot say or guess, for you know only a heap of broken images where the sun beats and the dead tree gives no shelter, the cricket no relief, and the dry stone no sound of water. Only there is shadow under this red rock. Come in under the shadow of this red rock, and I will show you something different either your shadow at morning striding behind you, or your shadow at evening rising to meet you. We'll show you fear in a handful of dust. Frisch wird der Wind, der Heimat zu, mein irisch Kind, wo weilest du? You gave me hyacinths first a year ago. They called me the hyacinth girl. Yet when we came back late, in the hyacinth garden, your arms full and your hair wet, could not speak. My eyes failed. I was neither living nor dead. I knew nothing. Looking into the heart of light, the silence. Ort und leer das Meer. Madame Sesostris, famous clairvoyante, had a bad cold. Nevertheless, is known to be the wisest woman in Europe with a wicked pack of cards. Here, said she, is your card, the drowned Phoenician sailor. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Look. Here is Belladonna, the lady of the rocks, the lady of situations. Here is the man with three staves, and here is the wheel. And here is the one-eyed merchant, and this card which is black is something he carries on his back, which I am forbidden to see. I do not find the hanged man. Fear death by water. I see crowds of people walking round in a ring. Thank you. If you see dear Mrs. Equitone, tell her I bring the horoscope myself. One must be so careful these days. Unreal city, under the brown fog of a winter dawn. The crowd flowed over London Bridge, so many. I had not thought death had undone so many. Sighs, short and infrequent, were exhaled. And each man fixed his eyes before his feet, flowed up the hill and down King William Street to where St. Mary Woolnoth kept the hours, with a dead sound on the final stroke of nine. There I saw one I knew and stopped him, crying, Stetson, you, who were with me at the ships at Miley, that corpse you planted last year in your garden, has it begun to sprout? Will it bloom this year? Or has a sudden frost disturbed its bed? Or keep the dog far hence that's friend to men, or with his nails he'll dig it up again. You, hypocrite lecteur, mon semblable, Mon frère. A game of chess. The chair she sat in. 
like a burnished throne, glowed on the marble where the glass held up by the standards wrought with fruited vines from which a golden cupidon peeped out. Another hit his eyes behind his wing, doubled the flames of seven branched candelabra, reflecting light upon the table as the glitter of her jewels rose to meet it from satin cases poured in rich profusion. In the vials of ivory and colored glass, unstoppered lugged of strange synthetic perfumes, unguent, powdered or liquid, troubled, confused, and drowned the scents and odors. Stirred by the air that freshened from the window, these ascended and fattening the prolonged candle flames flung their smoke into the laquiaria, staring the pattern on the coffered ceiling. Footsteps shuffled on the stair, under the firelight, under the brush, her hair spread out in fiery points, glowed into words, then would be savagely still. My nerves are bad tonight. It's bad. Stay with me. Speak to me. Why do you never speak? Speak! What are you thinking of? What's thinking? What? I never know what you were thinking. Think! I think we're in Rat's Alley, where the dead men lost their bones. What is that noise? The wind under the door. What is that noise now? What is the wind doing? Nothing. Again, nothing. Do you know nothing? Do you see nothing? Do you remember nothing? I remember those pearls that were his eyes. Are you alive or not? Is there nothing in your head? But don't oh oh that Shakespearean rag. It's so elegant, so intelligent. What shall I do now? What shall I do? I shall rush out as I am. Walk the street with my hair down, sir. What shall we do tomorrow? What shall we ever do? The hot water at ten, and if it rains, a closed car at four. And we shall play a game of chess. Pressing lidless eyes and waiting for a knock upon the door. The fire sermon. The river's tent is broken. The last fingers of leaf clutch and sink into the wet bank. The wind crosses the brown land, unheard. The nymphs are departed. Oh, sweet Thames, run softly to hear my song. The river bears no empty bottles, sandwich papers, silk. Chiefs, cardboard boxes, cigarette ends, or other testimony of summer nights. Nymphs have departed. And their friends, the loitering heirs of city directors, departed. They've left no addresses. By the waters of Lehman, I sat down and wept. Sweet Thames. Run softly till I end my song. Sweet Thames, run softly, for I speak not loud or long. At my back, in a cold blast, I hear the rattle of the bones and chuckle spread from ear to ear. A rat crept softly through the vegetation dragging its slimy belly on the bank while I was fishing in the dull canal on a winter evening round behind the gas house, musing upon the king my brother's wreck and on the king my father's death before him. White bodies, naked on the low damp ground, and bones cast in a little low dry garret, rattled by the rat's foot only year to year. But at my back from time to time, I hear the sound of horns and motors, which shall bring Sweeney to Mrs. Porter in the spring. 
Oh, the moon shone bright on Mrs. Porter, and on her daughter they washed their feet in soda water. Et on se voit d'enfants chantant dans la coupole. Twit, twit, twit. Jug, jug. Jug, jug. Jug, jug. So rudely forced. Terreau. Unreal city. Under the brown fog of a winter noon. Mr. Eugenides, Smyrna merchant, unshaven with a pocket full of cards, CIF London documents inside, asked me in demotic French to luncheon at the Cannon Street Hotel, followed by a weekend at the Metropole. Death by water. Phlebas the Phoenician, a fortnight dead, forgot the cry of gulls and the deep sea swell and the profit and loss. A current under sea picked his bones in whispers. As he rose and fell, he passed the stages of his age and youth, entering the whirlpool. Gentile or Jew, oh, you who turn the wheel and look to windward, consider Phlebas. Who was once handsome and tall as you? What the thunder said. After the torchlight, red on sweaty faces. After the frosty silence in the gardens. After the agony in stony places, the shouting and the crying. Prison and palace and reverberation of thunder of spring over distant mountains. He who is living is now dead. We who are living are now dying. With a little patience. Here is no water but only rock. Rock and no water and the sandy road. The road winding above the mountains which are mountains of rock without water. If there were water, we should stop and drink. Amongst the rock, one cannot stop or think. Sweat is dry and a feet are in the sand. If there were only water amongst the rock, dead mountain mouth of carious teeth that cannot spit. Here one can neither stand nor lie nor sit. There is not even silence in the mountains but dry, sterile thunder without rain. There is not even solitude in the mountains but red, sudden faces sneer and snarl from doors of mud-cracked houses. I sat upon the shore fishing with the arid plain behind me. Slightly set my lands in order. Cosa in foco che li affina? Quanto fermo uti che li don? Oh, suolo, suolo. La prince d'Aquitaine a la tour a voli. These fragments are shored against my ruins. Why then I'll fit you? You're almost mad again. Data, 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 data. Shanti. 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 Shanti.